How would you like to have cool icons in your terminal? What if you want icons in your status bar right here? As you can see, I have a Wi-Fi icon, a speaker, all these different icons. Maybe you're even using some terminal applications like a terminal file manager, and you would like to have some nice looking icons in here. Maybe you want some icons in Vim or any other terminal application. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can get all these nice looking icons and just make your terminal a much prettier place to work in. So let me just show you how I got all these. And I got all these icons with nerd fonts. So nerd fonts will basically take some popular programming fonts and they will add all of these different symbols to them. So as you can see, there's icons from Font Awesome, Material Design, a whole bunch of other ones that you've never even heard of. And it puts all of these icons, all 3,693 of them, into a font. And then once you install that into your favorite font, maybe you're using a programming font like Hack, Ferricode, JetBrains Mono, something like that. Whatever you use for your editor is probably going to be in here. And so what you can then do is you can use that font inside your terminal or anywhere else. As you can see, I have it in my status bar as well. And you can basically add icons to everything, which is really nice. In my opinion, the more icons, the better. So let me just show you how you can install these and basically upgrade your fonts to the nerd font version of them. Now, you don't really have to do much yourself besides install a font because your font is probably going to be here already. If we go to the downloads page, I will leave a link to this in the description. Then we're going to see a whole ton of different fonts right here. You can scroll through and pick your favorite. Let me just I'll give you an example right here. Let's download this space mono nerd font right here. You can also download this from the GitHub as well. If you would rather use this, it's going to be in the GitHub under patched fonts. You can find everything there. I will leave a link to this in the description as well. But you can either download from this page or if you are using Mac OS or maybe Arch Linux, there are instructions for Homebrew and for the AUR specifically. So if you fall into either of those categories, you can check out the download page right here and find some specific instructions for you. But let me download things the old school way. So I've just downloaded this. Let me go to my downloads folder and I have space mono right here. Let me just unzip this. And you probably know how to install fonts already. Uh, if you're on Linux, then you can do that by just, let's copy this. And you can install it just by going to .local slash share. And you're gonna wanna create a directory called fonts if you don't already. Paste it in here. Uh, you might have to run fccache-f in order to clear the cache if it's not loading for you for whatever reason. But let's change the font in this terminal right here and see if this actually works. All right, it's time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. All right, the font is new. And if we open this up, yep, all of our icons are working as you would expect. So that's a pretty quick and easy way to get a nerd font installed. But you might want some specific icon. It's not that easy actually to find some specific icon. Let's say I wanted to add a Wi-Fi icon to my status bar. Uh, how would I find that? So you can do that by going to the website and there's going to be a button up here called cheat sheet and so you can click on that and you can search for something specifically let's look for a wi-fi icon and you can take a pic of your favorite one here so there's a whole bunch of different icon sets here so you might see some conflicting styles you can just pick your favorite this is from font awesome this is from material design icons i prefer this one a little bit more so you can just copy this one with this copy icon button right here, paste it in here, and we now have a Wi-Fi icon right here. And so this is how you would copy and paste icons if you want to configure something like this, if you want to add this to your polybar configuration. Uh, if you want specifically some icons like this in your terminal prompt, I have a whole other video on power level 10K. That is the theme I use in order to get these icons right here. And of course, it requires nerd fonts in order to work. So first you would install this, then go check out that video. And for most people, that's probably all you need. So now you have font icons in your terminal, wherever else you want. Anywhere that your monospace font is, your icons will also be. But what if you have an icon font that isn't on this list? So there is a whole bunch on this list already. 
However, you might have something that's not on this list. Maybe you have a very niche hipster font that only you have and nobody else uses. Or maybe even, God forbid, you pay for your developer fonts. There are people in this world that will spend hundreds of dollars on fonts. So if you are one of those people, then you can't actually patch it yourself. So if you can't download it from here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to basically clone this entire repository. Now, fair warning, this repository is pretty huge because it has a million and one fonts and icons. But what you're going to want to do is clone this. I've already done this. Let me just change this font back. I don't really like this font, to be honest, guys. That was just for example's sake. All right, but let's go into repos slash nerd fonts. This is the Git repository that I've already cloned, but if you don't have that already, you would just want to clone this right here. And if you do want to patch your own fonts, then you do have to install something first. So let's go down here to the font patcher section, and it's going to be this package called FontForge right here. And I'll leave a link to the download page right here, but you should be able to get it just from your package manager. For example, I was able to install it with just sudo pacman install font forge right here and that should be enough for you you're probably going to be able to install it just from your official repositories but you can also come here if you want if it's not available in there but once you've cloned this gigantic repository there's going to be a script in here called font patcher right here we can hit enter and see all the options right here but basically you're just going to want to pass in the font that you want to use now I have a font over here in dot local slash share slash fonts that's called input mono and this does not have a nerd font available for it so we're going to have to patch it ourselves. Let's take the font patcher right here and then go slash home slash Eric etc etc and let's patch this font called input mono. Let's just get the regular version of it right now. And by default, it's only going to add a few different icons to it. If you want every single icon available, you'll want to pass in the dash C option. This will get every single icon pack. This is probably what you want. So just hit enter and it will go through and add in a million different icons from all of these different sets. So give it a minute. Okay, the font has been successfully patched. At least I hope so. Let's uh, check it out to see if it actually has worked. Or actually you're going to want to move this font first so it does uh, put this font, as you can see, in the current directory. So we're going to want to move this. Let's just move this one to the fonts folder. And then if everything has worked correctly, then we should be able to move this here. And it looks like it's worked. Let's open up a new terminal. All of our icons are still displaying correctly. And you can do more besides just add icons to a font that doesn't have icons. If you want, you can add an additional icon font to a nerd font that you already have. And you can do the same thing with uh, the font patcher right here. So if we just look at the options right here, font patcher, if you pass in the dash dash custom option, then you can also include a link to another icon font. And then it would just patch that onto this font as well. Because while nerd fonts have a ton of different icons, they don't have every single icon under the sun. So if you really want to make the ultimate icon font, you can. You probably aren't going to use that, but just know the option is available to you if you want. And so that's basically it. Now you have unlimited icons in your terminal font, and now you can beautify everything with a whole bunch of icons just to make everything look nicer. Because sometimes in the end, it really is all about aesthetics. I just like things to look good, you know? So go out and download a nerd font, and let me know if you found it useful.